In an oversaturated genre like third-person shooter, it's always nice to have a new franchise throw its hat into the ring. And that's exactly what I just got done playing with the new game Gene Rain that's now out on PS4. But should you be soaking this one up like a nice summer rain, or should this one just be wiped from the gaming gene pool? Gene Rain is a new third-person cover-based shooter from Dealey Network, a Chinese-based developer. The game is very similar as far as its third-person shooter design to the Gears of War franchise. In fact, almost too similar in some ways. The main campaign itself has three playable characters that play slightly different from one another, mostly in that each one has a unique ability, and there are a couple of different weapons, and including also an upgrade weapon system in there that gives a bit of variety to the gunplay, but overall it's kind of lackluster at its best. The game story is a bit hard to follow, and this is because of just the poor storytelling, bad voice acting, inconsistencies, and this goes with the subtitles in the game, with spacing being off, wrong words being used, and even reading the description of this game on the official PlayStation Store, it doesn't even make much sense there. Honestly, this game is really a mess at times. This is actually the second time now I'm doing this review. The first time, there was an HDR compatibility issue with the PlayStation 4 Pro that wasn't patched until the day prior to launch. Because of this, it caused my entire game to be an ugly reg, giving me a headache my entire gameplay. I was still able to finish it and did my review, but if you saw that original review, that's why I'm redoing it now with the visuals that actually are the way the game's meant to look. The thing is now, the game looks extremely generic, even more generic than it looked before, as at least with the horrible color scheme that the HDR glitch caused, the game at least had some personality. The gameplay itself though is pretty clunky, aiming at enemies can be a bit all over the place, the auto aim gets in the way, I wasn't able to hit targets the way I wanted to, I would end up aiming at somebody else instead of maybe an explosive barrel near a group of enemies. When enemies got too close, it was really impossible to try to actually aim and hit them, and there's a lot of enemies that swarm on you, and this just made the melee combat that's included in the game a joke. You can actually punch enemies away, but you're just missing most of the time, and it's very slow. The game's enemies have a little bit of variety, but at the same time you're going to be seeing the same ones over and over again. You have an AI partner for a lot of the missions in the game, but you don't really have much control over them. They have some dialogue, usually the same lines of dialogue repeated over and over again throughout the missions, and they don't seem to help at all. I don't know if a single bullet that they fire actually lands and damages any of the enemies you're fighting. And of course I understand AI can't be too good, but at this time it just seems like, why even have an AI partner if they're not going to help at all? The game is chapter based, with the different chapters having a bit of story usually before and after them, and you'll switch between the different characters, though like I said the gameplay doesn't change up a lot, usually the only thing that change up is the types of missions you're doing. Instead of maybe getting to the end point and destroying all the enemies along the way, you may have to destroy a certain type of enemy, like turrets that are on walls in a certain area. Thankfully, the game's campaign is relatively short, considering it's so generic and badly told, you'll probably want it over sooner rather than later if you even decide to check out the title. From the technical side of things, the game didn't crash on me, but there was numerous other bugs and glitches throughout, whether it be from the audio department, the visual department, or camera issues with enemies getting too close and being impossible to aim at them. There's just tons of little minor things that slowly bring this game down more and more the longer you end up playing it. Gene Rain is available now on the PS4 and PC for $24.99, and it does feature a Platinum Trophy on the PS4. Overall, Gene Rain is a generic third-person shooter that has a poorly told story, and gameplay segments that get so repetitive that the game just isn't that fun to play, especially considering there's no online co-op or really a whole lot of other things other than a basic horde mode to sink your teeth into. With everything said, I'm going to say wait for a sale or completely avoid altogether, but I'm going to be giving Gene Rain a 3 out of 10. And that's going to wrap up this review. I'll be thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.